Hello guys, welcome to the next video tutorial on Android app development for beginners. In the last video, we have seen how to install Android Studio on our Windows operating system and how we can do the Android Studio SDK configuration. So in this category, we have done some SDK configurations and we have downloaded some default packages, right? And the most important package was uh, this one, which was Intel x86 emulator accelerator. So if this is not installed, you uh, may want to install it because our emulator will run on this. Okay. So uh, this is in extra. So make sure it's installed. Now, once this is done, we are ready to create our first Android application. Now, in here in the quick start menu you will see some options the first option is the start a new android studio project so we will click this option and then you can give the name to your android application now it's encouraged to start the name of your application with a capital letter for example my application or i can change this to my first application for example my first app right but if you do or if you start the name by a small letter you can see a small little warning here which says the application name of most app begin with an uppercase so it's encouraged to uh, you know give your app name with a capital letter now here second uh, thing here is the company domain name right now we are uh, at the starting of our you know uh, learning cycle so we will leave it as default but in the later uh, you know later exercises or later uh, videos you may want to change it to uh, your personal domain name this is the location where your project will be saved so see uh, username android studio project and the name of your project so just click next and we are going to develop uh, our application for phone and tablet uh, you can even make a android application for tv or variable uh, technologies like watches or google glass but uh, right now we will concentrate only on this uh, phone and tablet application and in here this is interesting in here uh, it says the lower api level target more devices but have fewer feature available right so it's uh, on you how much audience you want to reach so right now by default, uh, this Android 4.0.3 is selected, which covers 87% of uh, all the devices, right? So, for example, uh, if you choose the latest version, which is Android 5, it covers right now 0%, almost 0% devices. And if you go to KitKat, it covers only 24% uh, of the devices and uh, generally you may want to make some application which covers almost all the devices and have a back backward and forward compatibility so for example if we choose this android 2.2 it means that it will cover 100 percent of devices which will run on your newer devices and on older devices so choose the one which covers the most uh, percentage of devices for example this android froyo right click next and in here this is the name of your uh, you know blank activity and uh, in here you can give the name of your activity now what is activity activity is nothing but you can say a section or page of your application 
similarly uh, if you uh, consider or if you compare this activity with uh, our android app with some website an activity can be a home page or about page or some other page so an activity you can compare to a page of a website right now once everything is done you can just finish and now uh, this is for the first time we are running our application so I will just try to uh, you know run this application and uh, I want to uh, you know print this hello world on my uh, running Android emulator right so uh, for the first time when you open uh, this Android studio you can uh, even do open your Android SDK manager from here itself uh, this is this small Android uh, button here which uh, says SDK manager you can just open this and in here if you haven't uh, done your SDK manager or if you need to do some settings for F SDK manager you can open it from here itself right so uh, right now nothing is required so I will close this now the other button here is for AVD manager and AVD manager is the full form of Android virtual device manager and this AVD manager you can uh, use to uh, set your default Android device for which uh, you are going to run your application so by default it's uh, Nexus 5 in my case this can be uh, different if uh, you are watching this video in uh, future but by default it's going to give you a default device right so we will leave this device as default for now but uh, you can you know create your own devices by clicking this create button and this we are going to see in the further videos but uh, for now we will just concentrate on our default device now in here in the default device in the actions you can take three actions one is to launch your AVD emulator second is the edit you can edit your uh, configurations of your um, device so you can just click this pencil button and in here all the settings of your uh, device you can see okay and in the show advanced settings you can uh, even do some advanced settings for example ram settings or vm heap or internal storage right so for now by default uh, i can see this uh, ram is 1536 which i think uh, we need to change but for now I will leave it as default because I want to uh, run my ap application and see if uh, any error occurs we will change this RAM because sometimes uh, whenever you for the first time run your uh, emulator it gives uh, this error okay so I will just close this and I will press this uh, green triangle button here which is for running our application just click this and now it's uh, waiting for AVD which is and ABD and now it will run or execute your task so it's two second to function thing which I want to choose and we only have one device which was the default device. we will choose that so I will wait for uh, this uh, device manager to appear so this is the uh, launch emulator and the default device, uh, device is Nexus 5 which was uh, our default device I will just leave it as it is and click OK and now hopefully it will run but sometimes you can see it gives you this error and the error says that x86 emulator 
currently requires hardware acceleration, please ensure that HAXM is properly installed. So this is the common uh, uh, Android, uh, uh, you know, problem whenever you run your first Android application. So don't worry, uh, we are going to solve it. And to solve it, what we need to do is just see the location of your SDK file, which is uh, the in the first line. So this is the location where your SDK folder is there. So just copy this path until SDK which is which will be something like c colon slash user your username slash app data slash local slash android slash sdk so just copy this path from here and open your file manager and paste this path and this will open your sdk folder and in your sdk folder there will be a folder called extras and in this extras folder there will be a folder called intel and in this uh, Intel folder, there will be a folder called Hardware Accelerated uh, Execution Manager, which has the uh, short form of HAXM, right? So uh, we will go inside this. And there is a executable file, which we need to install in order to uh, install this Android emulator. So we will click this application executable file, which is Intel HAXM minus Android uh, executable file. I will just run this and just click next. And uh, this can be different for different devices. The default value of RAM uh, can be different for different devices. If you have the, uh, you know, larger RAM or memory, you uh, can have uh, more, uh, you know, memory here or otherwise, or depending upon the, you know, uh, space you have. So right now, for me, it's 2 GB, it can be 1 GB for, uh, you know, uh, other devices, or it can be a 4 GB for uh, some other device. Just click next and install. So now the installation of HAXM is complete. So we will click finish and now we will close everything and we are going to run our application. So I'm going to close this browser for now and now I'm going to run our application once again. So this one is finished, minimize it and let's run our application by clicking this green button. And hopefully this time we will not see the same error. We will choose the default application from here. And now we will wait for the message. And in some seconds we are going to see the response. So in here we are going to see the response any moment. And here we can see now the application is sub successfully launched. So it says HAX is working and it's started. So now uh, for the first time this Android will uh, load. This is an emulator on which our application will run. So now uh, Android will start or Android emulator will start and once this emulator starts our application is going to run on it. So it will work like an Android application or Android uh, you know device and we just need to unlock it when uh, this is uh, you know ready. So now just drag uh, this up upwards and the lock will be uh, you know open and now uh, we just need to click OK and uh, just wait for our uh, hello world to uh, you know compile and appear here so now it's going to appear hello world and you can see the hello world message we uh, are able to see so this is our application which is 
running on this uh, Android emulator. So I hope you have enjoyed.